All right, Trevor, here's the robot with the new parts. This is just one that I built. Um, basically, it's kind of the same as last year, basically. This takes the place of the NXT, right? And then it plugs right into the main power unit right there. The power unit uh, goes through USB to the other modules, the other control modules. One on top there, that one's a, a um, motor controller down below a servo uh, right over here this is kind of cool this year these are this is the sensor module so you can see right down there uh, it says what's it say there I can't read it uh, well anyway this one is digital right here these are all digital so a digital one is just zero or one so this is the touch sensor that we got this year kind of cool because because it lights up so you can kind of troubleshoot things a little easier over here is analog, so 0 through 256, or 255. Um, that's the sensor for that. And then we also got, I don't know if we'll use it, this is the legacy module, so you can hook up old things to it. Old sensors, old motor controllers. Um, I guess since we got it, we, we could make use of some of our old stuff, which I guess would be pretty cool. But the uh, motors haven't changed. Uh, encoders and everything that's that's all like it was last year we'll probably get some new stuff of course the servos haven't changed so the only thing that's changed is really this guy right here the Android thing here so in order to use it here's my control unit it's a phone connected to a splitter cables going into the controllers so what you do is there's a lot of setup to these things but ultimately there's an app on here and there's an app on there that you run you can see that, that it's running and it says robot stopped right now um, it goes through Wi-Fi direct so it connects directly up to these two phones connect directly to one another through Wi-Fi so the, the the good part about that is that it's really quick and responsive so I go click here and I'm gonna click on the teleop that I want I'm going to go K9 Teleop, that's the one I've been working with. And then it just, uh, also th this right here is for the 30 second autonomous period, I can do that. I'm going to go ahead and just start the uh, K9 Teleop. Oh, to choose the, to choose which of these two I'm going to use for the A and B controls, I hit start in A, and then, I'm not sure if it, you probably can't see it, it lights up, it lights up with green, so user one lit up with green. So that means this one's going to be A, and I'm going to click Initialize, and then click Start, and then everybody, oops, oops, darn it, <laughs> Initialize, and Play, and then there you go. Very responsive, I really like it. Um, there's absolutely zero lag, you know, even on a good day with the old system there was always like a small amount of lag but now with this new system there's absolutely zero lag watch here absolutely zero zero lag much much better system um, although we do have to learn java uh, but that's that's actually pretty easy the java programming we use um our, our android stuff so anyway Take it easy. Have fun at college.